Hey Terrarians, how's it going? My name is Pixelated Fireball, and welcome back to the SGA mod. So I, yours truly, the one and only Pixels McFireball here, is a dummy. And I'm gonna tell you why. So, if you recall from the end of the last video, for those of you that have seen that, I was talking about the reverse engineering station. And that is a new crafting table that, well, I guess it's a little bit more than a crafting table. I actually have it now because I, hence the reason why I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm an idiot. That is the main thing to focus on here. So I was discussing this crafting table, yes, and here it is. I discovered that I don't know how to read. So here's the original recipe that I was looking at that requires these Energizer batteries, which are made out of bunnies. Bunny, in particular, I'm gonna need a lot of these going forward, so I'm still gonna need a few bunnies down the line here. But there was also a second crafting table here. The same exact item, but a different crafting recipe, which uses significantly less resources, and it requires, instead of a bunny and batteries and whatnot, it requires a presserator, wrench, metal detector, or detonator. So, me and my tiny pea brain saw this and went, oh, well, I gotta get a presserator. And I went through that whole hullabaloo trying to find a way to get one from the traveling merchant. Turns out I only read this part. The rest of it might as well have not even been there. I had a metal detector and a detonator. We could have made this yesterday. That's the main thing here. We could have done this already. But uh, because I'm a dummy and I don't know how to read, and that is just literally my life. Story of my life. Here we are with this thing finally. And I was told not to throw it into magic storage, however, because I did get a bunny and I did make a second one here because I made this recipe too. But it also has another thing that it does. So if you read actually what it says here, allows weaponization of unusual tidbits and crafting of advanced machinery. Some formerly uncraftable items may be crafted here. Doubles as a tinker's workbench. Allows you to uncraft non-favorited held items on right click. Press the toggle recipe hotkey to swap between recipes. There is a net loss of materials upon uncraft. This can, however, be reduced. So for example, we set it down here. And let's say we want to uncraft something. I have this broken malaise right here that I think, why, I th it's just garbage. Look at this thing. It's disgusting. Who would want this? It's just terrible. Garbage. Well, I'm not gonna throw it in the trash. I want my resources back for it. I made a mistake. I want my 12 demonite back. Well, you can take this item, bring a radon over here, and boink. Disappeared into the void. Where did it go? I'm very confused right now. Hold on a second. That didn't go the way I planned. Hold on. Now, I mean I have this demon bow is what I'm really saying here. I'm a tad bit confused as to what's happened. All right, I'll bite. What's going on? I'm a little confused right now. I'm kind of a bit conflustered here. Hold on a second. Where's all my stuff going? It's disappearing. I think I'm having a bit of an issue right here. Well, normally there is supposed to be items coming out of that, but for some reason it doesn't want to give it back to me. I'm very confused right now. I don't know what's going on really. Hold on a second. Let me try this again here. I'm a little bit confused. Let me pick this up here. Need one. I have one. Oh, there we go. Okay, it worked. Okay, so that's very confusing. Hold on now. Now we're gonna go and we're gonna explore a little bit here. I don't know if this is a bug or whatnot. I think I may have found a bug. So I got three lights banes here. I got myself a whole bunch of these things. So it only works on the one in the middle, but the ones on the outside, oh, now it's going to work. What in the biscuits and cheddar is going on right now? I am very confused. Okay, well, whatever. Anyways... It allows me to break down the items that I need and returns to me some resources upon my deconstruction of said items. And then of course, like it said, it also functions as a Tinker's Workshop. So I just threw a second one in there. I guess I didn't really have to make a second one. Could have just thrown in another Tinker's Workshop, but whatever, where's the fun in that? So we'll leave this one down here for any future crafting or deconstructing purposes there. We're just gonna have to remember that that's there. And now we can finally move on to the real meat and taters of the video today, which is gonna be going down there and absolutely whooping the queen bee and exploring a little bit more of the jungle. Now, I don't know exactly what's gonna happen once we get over there. I think it's to the left, right? Yeah, what's left of the jungle anyway. But yes, I don't really know if anything's gonna happen when we go over there because I haven't really seen any like, you know, oh, you defeated this boss and so now the world's gonna change pop-ups down there. So there might maybe perhaps be something new happening, hopefully, because there's, I don't know, something to do with like Merc and the sludge and whatnot down there. And I haven't seen any of those enemies showing up. So maybe it's either post B or post Skeletron. I'm imagining it has something to do with the jungle though. We'll find out when we get over there. But speaking of the jungle, we're probably not going to be over here very long. I may end up just uh, killing the queen bee real fast and then moving right on along back to business here, you know, because I got a lot of items from it already. I got my shotgun already and I got a lot of the uh, accessories down there. I'm a little bit ahead of the game with that stuff. I'm normally not. 
try to go at a normal pace, but it took me to the jungle early on, so might as well hang out over there and grab what we need, you know? Hey, would you look at that ancient shadow scale mail? A little too late for that, but that's fine. I'm glad I got it anyway. All right, folks, we've gone through the goop and the sludge. We're now ready to commence with the murdering, and I think our first hive should be, like, right over here somewhere, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So, I'm not gonna bother with the city buster again. As much fun as it is, I kinda don't want to absolutely obliterate the jungle. Which, I mean, to be fair, a city buster, for me, really, is just, like, accidentally vein mining something. That's kinda what it is. Oh, I'm gonna have to be careful here, too. Oh, my. If I accidentally send that sword flying into the beehive, this is gonna get pretty exciting. Oh, there's some spores. That's something I can grab now that I'm thinking about it. I could probably grab some of that jungle material down here and see if that makes anything. It does not. Okay, well, what about everything else? What about, uh, stingers? That makes something new, FSRG, but that is very later on down the line there. Never mind, okay. What about vines? Claymore, nope, I already made that. Mossy salve, however. A nasty infection is better than bleeding out, right? Treats severe burn wounds, completely restoring your lava immunity time. Stops bleeding, massive bleeding on fire, burning. Also heals 25 HP, however, causes an infection of swamp rot and murky depths. So that's the trade-off right there. You're not on fire anymore, however, you are horrifically poisoned. Spectacular. Oh my god, I was gonna say, where is that worm? I can hear it sliding around down there, driving me nuts. Oh my god, all of this stuff penetrates. I really don't want to shoot it through there by mistake. I'd really re oh! Well, that's exactly what I thought was going to happen. It's okay, though. It's okay. Let's just buff up and get about this business here. Honestly, I'll probably absolutely kick her butt. Look at that damage. Here, we'll just do this. Yep, there we go. Okay, yep. There goes the Queen Bee. Goodbye, Queen Bee. Nice knowing you. Yep, yep, there you go. Goodbye. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, he may actually kill me. Okay, slow down, slow down, slow down there, boss. Slow down there, boss. Oh my god. Ah, god. Oh, it was a blood moon. Okay, and we defeated her in five seconds flat. Okay. My god, these Caliburn swords are powerful. Okay, well, we defeated her. Anything else happen? No? Blood Moon is rising. That happened. Um, well, suppose there's only one thing left to do now. Oh, I'm just kidding. You know what I'm gonna do now. Oh, yeah. There we go. This is the best kind of mistake. This is almost, if not more satisfying, than the Meteor. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, slaughtering. Take that, bees. That's the stuff there, baby. Oh, wait, we're not done yet. Hold on a second. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, I got more murdering to do. Oh, my God, I'm being blasted around by the bees. I'm too powerful. Skull. Hold on a second. What did I just pick up? Oh, okay. I have a skull. Now I am the bonehead. Another thing I wanted to do while I was over here, I was pretty big brain and I thought about this. I wanted to get myself a bucket of honey just to take back for future reference. I wasn't sure if I'd need honey to craft anything, but out of curiosity, I figured why not. Might as well grab some. Um, let's grab some of this stuff too. Honey blocks. See if this is valuable for anything. No, not really. What about crispy honey? Oh, this is valuable. Okay, so fishing potions. I already know about that. Portable hive. That is an expert item. And it looks like I can just about make this. I need two buckets of honey for it. Looks like it's a nice summon weapon there. Bees become enhanced and very aggressive. Summons up to five enhanced bees to attack foes. Damage is based on defensive summoner values. Toggle visibility to enable disabled bee movement. Okay, look at that. That's pretty powerful right there. And I do actually just need two honey buckets. We need some virulent bars as well, but it looks like uh, don't really have any way to get that stuff right now as far as I know. Maybe it's post-Skeletron stuff. I don't know. Well, speaking of Skeletron, um, I guess that's uh, really the only thing left to get. I mean, I don't really know of anything off the top of my head. It looks like none of this stuff is really good for me for anything. I mean, vines, not really. Jungle spores, no, not really. Stingers, no. I mean, there's flasks of poison, but I have this other accessory here that just lets me poison everything on melee attacks anyway. So unless I'm really overlooking something, which I mean is definitely a possibility, I already got a staff of regrowth down here. We've got the uh, feral claws or whatever for melee speed, which I really gotta throw on. That'd be really nice to have. There's another hive right there. Uh, I didn't really check over all the stuff the Queen Bee gives me. I don't really know if I'm gonna need any of her weapons. Honestly, Caliburn's really kicking butt. All of them. I have a Caliburn for every occasion. Let's do it again. Come on, B, let's go. Actually, this is kind of working in my favor. The bees are attacking me so fast that they are affecting my immunity frames, making it so that I can just stand here and take next to no damage at all whatsoever and just wail on her with impunity, which is great. And just like that, a few more seconds here, the queen bee is dead again. Oh boy, oh boy. And I have a full inventory. Okay, well, I got a lot of junk. I gotta get rid of some of my junk here. Too much junk in my trunk, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ah, God, nymph. 
get out, get out, get out of here. I've got sparkles, what do you have? Fear the power of my blue sparkles. Okay, well, I think that's enough excitement for one day, and we're back up here for a beautiful blood moon. All right, now, let's see. It looks like the bee's knees allows me to make the zenith. Basically, zenith bow. Okay, I get it, that's very funny. Honeycomb, valuable for the same old, same old stuff here. Looks like amber horseshoes. That stuff's valuable. I'm gonna have to make that at some point. Gonna need a honey balloon, and I'm going to need a lucky horseshoe. I don't have a balloon. You know, come to think of it, I haven't been up to the sky yet, so you know what? I may go up there and do that. That sounds like it could be exciting. However, do I have the ability to fly up there is the question. I don't know if I have any gravitation potions. Well, I can't make any. Hold on a second. I know I have to have some in my inventory. I always do. Oh, yeah, I got 11 of them and a couple grave markers, which is just spectacular. Okay, can I make anything new, though? I better take a look here. I know I'm going to grab the uh, blade of grass there. Going to need that for something later on down the line. Uh, Hornet staff, abominations, uh, same old, same old. I can buy that stuff. There's the bee set, not a material for anything. The sweetheart necklace, also not a material for anything. There's a new shield right there. I must have made one of these things. I don't remember ever doing that, though, but okay, fine. Heart guard. Looks like a nice little defensive item right there. For defense, and trap damage increased by 10%, plus 20% max HP, and hearts give 5 health. Effects of Rusted Bulwark and Aversion Charm, which that looks like that's what it's all made out of. That, a Life Crystal, and Heart Reach Potion. So I can Ninja Dodge Traps and halves knockback. I'm below half health, I get one defense, 4% increased blocking damage with shields. Scoring a dust block will rust burn the attacking enemy. I mean... Yeah, sure, that could be good for defensive purposes. Why not? So now, just out of wild and crazy curiosity, we are going to fly up to the sky and see if we can find some sky islands. Because I haven't done that yet. Normally, I go soaring around. And for some reason, here we are almost... I think, actually, this is episode 10. And we haven't done this yet. So we're going to go ahead and up here into the sky, and we are going to see what we can find. Probably a lot of death, I imagine. A lot of wide open void and nothing of value. Oh, boy. Oh, all the way. Almost. Bonk my head off the surface there. Harpy, come on, Harpy. Fine, have a machine gun. Harpies are after my giblets. You can't have any. They're my giblets. They belong to me and not you. Come on, Sky Island. I think I went up way too high there. Oh, boy, that was almost right off my face. Okay, what do we got here? Photosite growing in the clouds. That's all right. Direct to source. I like that. And a lucky horseshoe right there. And a sky mill, which is valuable for the elemental assembler there for Fargo's. Wait, 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 wait. Before I end up having an NPC up here, move that. A lot of photosite in the clouds up here, it looks like. Lots and lots of that stuff. That'll be something to take note of for later, if I do ever run out of that stuff. Oh, and we got another one already. Look at that. Nice and crammed together. That's how I like it. And a Star Fury. Very nice. Those are always good. What is this? New item. Okay. Hold on a second. Looks like a magic item, though. That's okay, though. We'll still take a look at it here once I kill the harpies. We got a Star Collector. Picking up mana stars reduces mana sickness by one second. Furthermore, if your mana is full, you heal five HP. Well, alrighty then. That sounds really valuable for early game mage. And another one. Wow, look at that. I'm not just finding a Sky Island. I'm finding all the Sky Islands. All right, I'm gonna need a Sky Lake, though, so I can do some Sky Fishing if necessary. Oh, and we found another one. Oh yeah, this thing is more photosite than clouds almost. And another Star Fury and more decayed moss. You really want me to have this Star Fury real bad. Well, there's the dungeon. However, unfortunately, it's not nighttime. Otherwise, I may have ended up just going back there and just beating Skeletron. And probably ended up doing the dungeon in the next video. I'm not sure. Ah, I got him falling to my death. Oh, that was close. That was almost very bad. Hey, the witch doctor has arrived. Okay, let's head on back. We're not really finding anything of value up there. So let's go and take a look at our buddy here. I know I can get some flasks from him. Where did he move in? All the way over there, huh? Well, we just can't have that. Ah, teleport back. Didn't mean to do that. All right, Abib, come on over here. One of these houses is viable, yes? There we go. Move on over there. Is he going to move in? He may not. He may stay over there for a while. I may have to go looking for him rather than the other way around. Yep, he's going to hang out over here. That's fine. We can have a conversation with him, see if he sells anything of value. I do want weapon flasks, like I said. I don't know if they'll overlap, but if I can get, like, uh, I don't know, like on fire and poison to stack up or something like that, that'd be nice. Okay, whatever. Um, yeah, and that, there's also this as well. So now I don't really need to worry about building fishing ponds. I can just uh, use these fountains right here. So, in Fargo's is another thing, for those that may not know. Whenever you have a fountain, you can place it down and activate it to change not just the water color, but also the biome state. So, if I wanted to go fishing in the jungle, but didn't want to go to the jungle, I could throw down a water fountain for it, turn it on, and it would treat the water as if I was in the jungle. It would also change the spawn conditions and rates and all that stuff. It would just basically change the biome pretty much. So that's very handy. So he's definitely an NPC we're going to want. I'm going to grab an imbuing station right there, a blowgun. That makes the dart trap gun I could actually make right now. Hmm. At least those traps might be of some use in a fight now. Launches dart trap darts. Um... I can't get illegal gun parts yet because it is daytime, but, uh... They make a good few things, actually. 
Gatlapillar, that's another thing right there. I just need photosite. I still can't make that stuff. Am I crazy? Dank seeds, moist sand. I should... Murky gel, that's what I'm missing. I don't have any of that stuff. That's the whole thing that I don't have right now, unfortunately. All right, well, that's fine. He'll move in over here when he's good and ready to. I should probably also check my other NPCs here. Draken, do you have anything of value for me? No, it doesn't look like it. Do any of you guys sell anything of value? No, it really does not look like it. I guess they don't really care very much about the Queen Bee. That's a shame, don't feel bad. I care about you, Queen Bee. All right, all the items have been deposited. I don't really know if there's gonna be anything of value in there. Probably not. There's that mossy salve. And I can make flasks of acid and flasks of poison. Honey, fridge flame concoction. I'll need that for later. So it's a good thing I brought over the honey bucket. That was a smart decision. But, uh, okay, well, great. Um, well, in that case, um, I was not expecting the queen bee to go down quite that quickly. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I know that the caliber and stuff that I have is very powerful, but I wasn't aware that I was just going to absolutely disintegrate her. I may end up taking these Caliburn weapons the whole way through the rest of pre-hard mode. I mean, there's only a few bosses left, but man, I'm demolishing these guys. I may have to switch some things up here for the sake of fairness, or mix it up, try some new weapon types or something. Maybe go for throwing. There is that uh, fame set or whatever. I did make that. That's kind of cool. It's a little bit unique. Maybe I'll switch around and uh, play with some of that stuff. I don't know. We'll have to take a look around. We're about to go into the dungeon, but I don't really know necessarily that I have enough time to deal with Skeletron and the dungeon and all that stuff now because I took up a very good majority of the episode explaining why I was a dummy thanks to this right here and defeating the Queen Bee. So I think with that, I may end up just releasing another short episode. I didn't really intend for the last episode to be the length that it was. It actually, the recording time was a lot longer than that, but this one is definitely going to end up being a lot shorter of an episode. But that's okay though. Short video, easy to consume, am I right? All right, we still made a good bit of progress today. We had a lot of fun. I enjoyed this episode, the little puff cloud at what it was. But um, yeah, I think I'm gonna call it an episode here and save Skeletron and the dungeon for the next episode. We'll just do all that in one video and then it looks like we're almost done with pre-hard mode already. Hard to believe. What is that down there that it said? Faith on. What? When did I do that? Okay, well, I guess I defeated this boss, or boss checklist thinks I did. Anyways, okay, before I get sidetracked again, on a nice rainy, beautiful afternoon here in scenic Terraria land, I'm gonna call it an episode here, guys. So, thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking me out. I really appreciate it. And as always, whatever it is, wherever you are, day or night, hope you have a good one of those. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye <laughs>